All right, sorry for my hiatus again, but I have to get something off my chest here. There is something that's been bothering me ever since Modern Warfare 2 came out, and that's this unshakable feeling that I kind of miss Vanguard. Now, maybe it's because my life was a little bit more stable when Vanguard came out, and maybe it's because Turmoil has unfortunately followed me into the launch of this game, but um, no. I think it's that Modern Warfare 2 misses something that Vanguard absolutely nailed. Vanguard, when it launched, its multiplayer was way more just packed full of content and things for me to do. Now, not everything I'm going to list here is going to be considered good by everybody, but I had weapons that had 70 levels, I had operators that I could level up individually, I had 15 multiplayer maps, or I believe 16 multiplayer maps. We had 10 attachment gunsmith, which while we found out slowly over time that it was broken and shouldn't have existed, uh, we still got to play with a new gunsmith system that just let us go haywire with World War II weapons and just mutilate them and frankensmith them. Then we had destructible environments. We had buildings that had blow upable walls. We had trap doors. We had roofs that had holes in them that you could make. You know, there was a lot of that new gimmick everywhere. The doors from the previous Modern Warfare title had come back, but they were destructible. You could blow them up, chew them to shreds. It was a lot of fun. Now, I'm not saying that the gunsmith was good and having 70 weapon levels is an inherent positive. I'm not saying that the, the, that the destruction was perfect. What, what I'm saying is, is that I had a ton of maps, a ton of things to progress, and on top of that, we had a new gimmick that I actually got to enjoy. In a lot of ways, Vanguard feels a little bit more advanced than Modern Warfare 2. Now, Modern Warfare 2 allows us to dolphin dive and slide and has a very in-depth gunsmith system and a new way to progress and level up and unlock camos and attachments. I think that's really cool and all, but Vanguard also had little things like the ability to move while mounted or the ability to blind fire. Did I take advantage of those? Some more than others, but it's, but it's odd. I think Vanguard did a lot wrong throughout its life cycle, but I think at launch, I enjoyed Vanguard a lot more. I couldn't get bored of any of the maps because there were so many maps to play through. And when a Call of Duty game comes out, I'm a sucker for weapon leveling. And the fact that I was leveling up operators alongside the weapons, it, it was fun. It, it was exciting. And I'm sad that that's, that's over with. Like, Modern Warfare 2 comes out and we have like a handful of maps. For some reason, the art museum one is still missing. And our first two maps of season one are going to be maps that I played to death in MW 2019, Shoot House and Shipment. Missing the ability to blind fire and move while mounted in Modern Warfare 2 just feels like it's a little bit regressive from Vanguard. And going back to traditional opening and closing doors that can open or close and can't be destroyed also feels regressive. I think the doors were even destructible in Black Ops Cold War's uh, blackout modes, or whatever they were called, uh, not blackout. Um, uh, Dirty Bomb, uh, whatever Cold War was doing. They had doors, they were destructible, I was there, I saw them. Also, we lost combat pacings in Modern Warfare 2. We have Ground War back, but I don't always want to play Ground War because Ground War is only on a few maps and the gameplay style is very different from traditional COD. Whereas Vanguard had combat pacing options where you could have, you know, 20 people crammed onto a 6v6 map, which I think is kind of fun. Now, when it comes to Vanguard's overall feel and aesthetic and gunplay, there are lots of problems I had with it, but there's one thing that just makes Modern Warfare 2 feel regressive, and that's that Vanguard came out with new gimmicks and features and a ton of MP content, whereas Modern Warfare 2 came out with not as much MP content and the only gimmick we have is new water physics, which water itself isn't really new because we had it in Black Ops 3, but it is new water physics, but it's only present on one map. And I would at least like it on two or three. It just makes the game feel old. It just came out and yet it feels a little old. It feels like an expansion to MW 2019 at times when you look at it simply mechanically. It's obviously its own game and I do enjoy it quite a bit, but I unfortunately miss Vanguard a little bit more than I'd like. I don't want to miss Vanguard. That's not an emotion I want to have, trust me. But yeah, the launch of Vanguard was a little bit more exciting and enticing compared to this. The last big little, big little, the last little big bombshell I'm going to drop on, on Modern Warfare 2 here is that Vanguard launched with what I believed to be the worst perk layout I have ever seen in a COD game because the perks were so 
categorize that you couldn't build a proper stealth class when Vanguard came out. You couldn't do that until months later. Uh, now Modern Warfare 2's come out and given us the actual worst perk system I've ever seen. I thought Vanguard was limiting my playstyles with its perk system, but Modern Warfare 2 came out and just limited my playstyles with their perk system. So we have less maps, less gimmicks, less movement options than Vanguard did in terms of blind firing and moving while mounted. And we all don't we don't have operator levels. You can't like take Ghost and level him up and unlock an outfit or two for him and maybe a couple finishing moves or quips. Can't do that, which I think is a bit of a loss, even though a lot of the other progression is really good. And now we also just have a bad perk system. Just a perk system that limits players arbitrarily for no reason, and I'm not a fan. Anyway, when it comes down to it, Modern Warfare 2, I think, is the better game over Vanguard, but I think Vanguard launched better, and I think Vanguard is going to be appreciated for those little things as people start to burn out on this launch content of MW2's multiplayer. I don't throw in DMZ and Warzone when I talk about MW2, because that's not the core MW2 experience I bought it for. Those are add-ons, those are extras to me. The core 6v6 traditional multiplayer experience I think was just done better last year, and that's what this tiny little rant was about. Thank you guys for watching. Now I want to hear from you guys. Did you like Vanguard's launch better or this game's launch better? Does it matter? Who cares? Don't ask that. See you when I see you. Goodbye.